In this lesson, we'll discuss exporting your layout to an EPUB. If you'd like to follow along, go under the File menu to Open, and in the Sample Files folder, scroll down to a folder called 1700 EPUB folder, and just select 1705 Export to EPUB, and just click Open. Now, let's export our EPUB. I'm going to go to File. Export. For the format, I'm going to choose EPUB and I want to save it to my desktop. It's saving the document by default with the same name as the print layout with .epub at the end. Of course, we can change this to anything we want. I'm just going to hit save. Let's talk about what's going on in the EPUB export options. In the general section, the first thing is version. We're going to concentrate on EPUB. 2. There is also an EPUB 3 and an EPUB 3 with layout, but those are not widely supported at this point. The next thing in the setup section is we need to pick an image for our cover. We could just rasterize the first page, or we could choose an image from a file. So why don't we choose an image, and in that folder for the EPUBs, we're going to choose the image, which is called underscore tip of the day cover dot layers dot JPEG, and just click open. It's giving InDesign a path back to this image for when it does export. I had created a table of contents style for our EPUB, and that's what we're going to use. You can set up margins all around the outside of your EPUB. If you don't do that, your type will come right to the edge of the EPUB not very attractive. So you can add a margin all the way around and they're linked together by default. To increase the margins you just click the up arrow. To decrease the margins you just click the down arrow. Then there's the content order. We're going to choose the same as our articles panel. So whatever we set up in the articles panel will be the order of the objects in the exported EPUB. Now, you could base it on the page layout, but the problem with that is InDesign is deciding the order of everything, and you'll be really disappointed if you do it that way. So, use your Articles panel. The next area is Text Options. If we had footnotes, we could choose, by checking it, to place the footnotes after a paragraph. Remove Forced Line Breaks. I'm going to check that, because it's quite possible that in certain paragraphs in my book, for print, I may have rebroken the lines manually using forced line breaks. This will remove them so it won't look really odd when it opens up as an EPUB. Bullets and numbering, we really didn't have any, but you can map to an unordered list or convert to text either for both of them. The next thing is view EPUB after exporting. We're going to check that just to make sure that our export looks good. It is going to open it for us and we'll be able to see what's going on. Why don't we go to the next section, which is Image. We're going to preserve the appearance of the images from our layout. The resolution in the export is going to be 150 pixels per inch, so it is going to look good on an iPad. The image size is going to be fixed as opposed to relative to the page. That way, it's going to remain the same size, whether we make the page bigger or smaller. For image alignment and spacing, we're going to center our images. We're going to add space before the image of three pixels and space after each image of three pixels. We could insert page breaks before an image or after an image or both. We're going to uncheck that. This setting will apply to the anchored objects that we anchored into our text. Image conversion, I'm going to leave it automatic. That way, the best format will be chosen for different kinds of images. Why don't we go under Advanced? The first thing under Advanced is Split Document, and we're going to base that on our paragraph styles. You remember when we were doing export tagging for our paragraph styles, we chose one of our paragraph styles to split the EPUB into separate sections. So each chapter would begin at the top of a new page. We could have done the same thing here as well by choosing Chapter Headline 
as where the splits are going to occur, but we've already done it in our export tags. Include document metadata. Well, what is that about? Part of this document, if I go under my file menu to file information, which I can't get to because I'm in a dialog window, I had added some metadata in the dialog window that opened. Things like the author's name, the title of the author, a description of the book, the publisher, I added that right here, it's author house, and it's automatically creating a unique ID for our EPUB. CSS options, you can include style definitions, preserve local overrides, and include embeddable fonts. And you can also add your own style sheets, your own CSS if you want. Now, all I have to do is click OK. And it's actually exporting to an EPUB, and it's automatically going to open in Digital Editions. Now, if you don't have Digital Editions, you can download it for free on Adobe's website at www.adobe.com forward slash products forward slash digital editions, one word. In the next lesson, we'll be taking a look at the results of our EPUB export.